So hi dear Libra, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Tarot and this is a general reading for all the Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Keep in mind this is general. It might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The second thing, the rules can be reversed also. Third thing, this is a reading from 25th till the 31st of December. This is the last reading of this month for you guys for your love life. And this reading is valid for every 12th sign that you are dealing with along with your own sign. Okay. So if you want to be a professional tarot card reader like me, you can start your journey by purchasing my course. The link is in the description box. It's in English, basic, simple English. And it's from basics to advanced, like uh, intermediate, you can say. And uh, certification is going to be there and lifetime access. If you want to start your self-love journey, but don't know from where to start, you can definitely start with my ebook and workbook. It's super cheap in, and it's loaded with a lot of information. So let's start. The link is, is in the description for the same. So, your person or your partner's current feelings for you right now, Libra, at this present moment? The Sun card. Someone is crystal clear as day or someone is wanting some kind of clarity here. There is something related to clarity, answers, something related to finding the answers here. Proper answers. Let's clarify the Sun. Could be dealing with the Leo. Mm, not necessary. Just uh, a major arcana. We have the Ace of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, the Death card. Libra, the thing is that someone is feeling like uh, they tried their best to have a start with you, but it's not working out. Now this person is getting the clarity in their mind and soul that uh, they are done with the working thing. They are done with the putting in the effort and energy kind of thing. But they are 100% sure that they feel like having a brand new beginning with you, but they are not able to understand how. Because according to them, they have done everything possible in this situation to make this situation work out, to have a brand new beginning with you, to have starts with you. Now this person is realizing that all the starts were false, okay? Or they were putting in the effort and energy but not getting anything out of it. But even if they are not getting anything out of it, they are very sure that they feel like having a brand new beginning with you, even if it is not working out, given multiple chances, multiple, uh, yeah, multiple starts in the situation. Mm -hmm. So they feel like they got the clarity that they want to have you in their life but they feel like they don't know how to do that because they have done everything possible in their energies in their uh, like power but it's not happening okay let's see what do you feel about this particular personal situation from your side libra empress okay could be dealing with another libra or taurus or scorpio See, the thing is that you feel like having growth and expansion in your life. Let's clarify if it is with this person or in particular in general. And Libra, please watch out for the moon cycles. According to the moon cycles, I think your moods are changing, your energies are shifting and you might not be even aware of it or aware of that. Okay. Make good use of the moon cycles. Yes, you definitely are very, very clear that you feel like having a collaboration partnership. You definitely feel like uh, having a happily ever after kind of dynamic with someone. You definitely feel like having kids. If you guys are already having kids and if you guys were married to this person, you definitely feel like reviving the marriage. Okay. You definitely have this idea of getting back together and creating your happily ever after with this particular person or energy because you have lots of love for them. You have lots of respect for them and you definitely feel like it is, it is a teamwork. It is a team effort. Now the other person is feeling like now, no matter how much time and energy they are giving to this, no matter, um, no matter how much work they are putting into this, it's not working. And uh, you are very clear that you feel like having this collaboration partnership and you have lots of love as well for the situation okay this is like yeah you feel like starting from scratch lots of either you are using the power of uh, like uh, being a kid being innocent being naive being vulnerable or you are having kids together that is the thing let's see what this person wants from you what are their intentions for the situation between you and them libra Six of Swords. This person wants to have a peaceful solution to the problem that you guys are facing and or they just want to move on. Okay. Let me clarify the Six of Swords in order to get the real picture of the situation. We have the Five of Wands, Five of Pentacles, the Chariot. Wow. Libra, this person is taking this whole thing as a drama. They are like, okay, whenever we are trying to connect with each other, this is drama, this creates, uh, this always creates uh, like a painful kind of ending. This always creates uh, this, this feeling of feeling left out, feeling left out in the cold and they have abandonment and trust issues. 
okay and they are feeling pulled in every direction in the situation and they are thinking that uh, like uh, you have to put your shit, shit together they have to put their shit together then only you guys can make this work out right now it's not working out no matter how much uh, like badly they want it they are not able to like take it as like something that's going to work out ever although they feel like having a brand new beginning with you but they feel like it's never going to work out so it's better to keep moving on this is what they want they want to move on yep let's see what do you want from this particular person or situation from your side libra hierophant you want to get married you want a higher level of commitment you want something solid and committed something that's going to work out for the rest of your life let's clarify the hierophant you might be dealing with a cancer taurus leo scorpio leo another Tor uh, uh, libra or uh, another libra or taurus sun moon venus rising let's clarify the hierophant from your side we have the five of cups the hanged man and the queen of cups you know that you want a happily ever after kind of dynamic with them so before that you want to let go of the pain you just surrender you just want to surrender to the divine you just want to have the self love self care self healing kind of energy so that you can attract this person so that you can manifest this marriage commitment or long term partnership kind of energy with a specific person so you want to heal the situation within yourself first then you want to surrender to the divine and then you want to create this happily ever after kind of dynamic with a specific person or in general if you are not uh, that much connected to this person anymore but you want a high level of commitment a marriage long term partnership and for that you are manifesting like good things you are surrendering to the divine and you are understanding that this is the only solution left for you yep let's see what's coming towards you by the end of this year libra in the situation the emperor okay a decision aries energy a decision uh, like uh, taking your power back or something related to a very solid and uh, loyal decision like this is what it is even if it is hurting let's clarify the emperor we have the magician the three of wands and the four of pentacles it's like you uh, okay you know how to manifest something in your life libra so this is what you are going to do you are going to sit in your power you are going to physically move on from the connection but you will be holding on to this energy of i am going to manifest this connection back in my life no matter how much time it's going to take no matter uh, no matter how much energy it's going to take from my side but i am going to bring this back uh, bring, bring this connection bring this situation back to life because i know how to do it so you are going to uh, like use the power of uh, detachment use the power of wisdom and knowledge regarding how to manifest a particular thing in your life and you will be doing that only silently so you will be letting go of a person or situation because you know that this is the only solution left here simultaneously you will be using the power of detachment and the law of attraction to manifest this particular person or energy back in your life you are not letting them go completely you are just letting them go physically not energetically and you will be manifesting this person or this situation back in your life knowing and understanding properly the art of uh, detachment and the law of attraction very good let's see the guidance for you guys in the situation libra i don't think you need it we have the four of swords the king of swords the tower yeah see the thing is you got the clarity you got the answers and you know what to do so keep doing that don't mess this up now don't uh, mix like uh, confusions and on and off and in and out kind of energies or challenges or obstacles to stop you from uh, reaching where you want to reach in this particular direction okay so you know what you want and you are very clear this time so don't just don't mess this because you are doing great and you are uh, like going in the right direction okay just don't mess this yeah so thank you so much for tuning in libra i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste